let's understand how to create this pie chart in the power apps i open my make.powerapps.com environment like power apps environment and open the app in edit mode so i will go to click on new screen i will take the blank screen so let's rename this to i will add a one button here let's move this up make it here and text i will change to create collection so in this one i will increase the font size i will increase font size to 20 and if you observe this is the uh, collection i want to create now so let's take a copy of this one so here on click of this button so in the on select event so here uh, now remove this one and clear collect so parenthesis open and close i will write collection name as the animals and comma i will paste the content so if you see uh, let me show this one so if you see these are the records there in the collection and animal uh, these two values i took these two properties animal and count so let me preview this one so i will click on this button create collection so once i click on create collection if you see in the dot variables and in the collection animals if i click here and let me view this table content so if you see this is the value animal and count columns are there and uh, these four records so let me add a uh, let me go to the tree view now and uh, i will select on the screen and click on chart so if you search chart these are the charts available column chart line chart and pie chart and this is the power bi related so i will use this pie chart now so i will click on pie chart so i will place it here so let me increase the size also so i will select this one so we have a uh, two section here if you see this one this is lesson this is pie chart this is the tile so this is the group actually so pie chart group if i select this one so here items property will be there if i click the item property here pie's uh, chart sample data is there so i will remove this one i will provide them uh, the collection which we created so if you see this get updated let me increase the size here so you see uh this this four rows we had it like cat dog cow and goat so here uh, this labels are also showing so this this cat is a less record so it is not showing let me preview this one so if i click here it is showing the uh, label so here we need to understand uh, some properties here if i select this pie chart means this one so in the advanced uh, thing we will be having the, this option so for example if we if the collection has uh, many columns and if uh, we want to change those uh, columns then we can change here so what is the label we want we can choose it and the counter here the items so here we need to select the count here so this will be the integer this will be the uh, label so column name if we scroll down this one so we will be having item color set property this item color set property will help us to set the color here so for example uh, if you see this one this is the array actually so let me show it in a simple way so 
if we create an array with the color red, green, black, so black and purple. So these are the colors we have. So if you see those colors whichever I given so got updated. So let me change this to now it is the changes is applied. Let me preview now. So if you observe this is uh, for example it will start with our record is uh, from this one. Let me show this variable animal tree view again. So cat is first item dog cow goat. So if you see this is the cat so it is coming first so this is the red and we next and cow um, like for, for that we gave a color black and this is purple so let me show it the array of the colors so let me select this and if you see we gave uh, first as a red so record which is there in first will be the red color so if we give number of uh, colors so for example if i remove the fourth item fourth item i remove so that means it will repeat the color it will take for the color will first color will be assigned to the first item and second to the second and other like third if fourth is not there it will take from the first again so let me undo the chain now in the uh, pie chart properties if you see this explode option so if i click here it is showing zero now so if i give some 10 value it will be spreaded so if you, if you preview this one it is spreaded now so if i change to uh, some other value let me go to preview and select the pie chart so your explode value I will change it to 0 again so now if you see now let me preview so it is decreased so some properties we need to understand so that's why I'm showing these things so if I turn on this like label will be shown so also we can update this font size and for this also let me increase the font size to 20 so if you see font size has increased similar to other controls we have all the properties this is all about the pie chart thank you